I'm sorry. Sorry for not posting anything in the last four months. But I'm trying. That's the best thing. And I hope that the phrase I'm sorry is something that we're all familiar with. I hope. But I have you know that there is no actual sorry in German. Or in any language that I know, actually, to be honest. At least not something that perfectly replaces it. But we have two phrases that basically mean the same thing. Welcome to Coffee Quentin. Again. Why? I don't know why your algorithm thought this is interesting. Anyways, these two phrases are Entschuldigung and Tut mir leid. Both literally meaning almost the opposite of each other, but we still use them in the same way. Entschuldigung is interesting because it's made out of the word schuldig, which means guilt, and the starting syllable ent, which basically means undoing. So it's the undoing of guilt. The opposite of Entschuldigung is Beschuldigung, and that means accuse. So everybody who's smarter than a coconut obviously knows that the opposite of excuse is excuse. So Entschuldigung basically means excuse in English, doesn't it? Well, yeah, and theoretically, yes. And while it is completely okay in German to say Entschuldigung, ich wollte dich nicht erstechen. In English, it would sound a little weird to say Excuse me, I didn't want to stab you. Can you use excuse me for an actual, genuine apology? I never thought you can. But if you can, then tell me. And I don't know how it is in English-speaking country. But in Germany, when you use Entschuldigung too much, elderly people will get really mad at you. They're gonna say something like, You don't excuse yourself. I am the one who's excusing you. Which shows that Entschuldigung is basically like an asking for forgiveness more than anything else. Like you want your guilt to be gotten rid of. If you deserve that after what you've done is a different story. Tut mir leid. It's an apology made out of three separate words. Tut, which basically means does. Mir, which basically means me in context. And light, meaning harm, suffering, sorrow. So basically it means does me sorrow. Not like that actually hurts you in any way, but it means that you emphasize, that you understand what that person is going through or that you show empathy. That's basically what it means. An example would be, Tut mir leid, ich wusste nicht, dass es deine Kinder waren, die ich im Keller eingesperrt habe. Which translates to, I'm sorry, I didn't know those were your kids that I trapped in my basement. You might now wonder, Rippus, what the fuck is your problem? My most weird examples. That I say, assume that I show you. I'm sorry. That's just how I am. But seriously, no. After a little bit of research, one can learn that sorry actually derives from the same word and sorrow. Which means that es tut mir leid is closer to the actual meaning of 